It's Madden NFL 23, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. Welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway in Foxborough. Fielded right around the eight. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Time to see this wide open Baltimore offense go to work and leading them pretty darn good one. Lamar Jackson out of Louisville. Another excellent season from Lamar Jackson that was cut short by ankle injury and actually showed just how much he is valued as the leader of the Baltimore Ravens as they went 0-4 down the stretch and missed the playoffs without him. Prior to that, they were 8-5 in a tough AFC North, and he was on his way to his third 1,000-yard season as a runner and career-high marks as a passer. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of the drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Five yards remain on second down. Jackson now. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Now Jackson. That one complete to Prochet. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense, I think, in the future. If you're going to try to block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. 
They should have done it on that snap. On second and 11 now. Jackson, that's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 43. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Here's Jackson to throw. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing is Jackson. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. To throw is Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. He's done his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. Tucker's kick is good, and the Ravens strike first at three zip. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. Takes it at the 7. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now we get a first look at this Patriots offense and, of course, leading them for his second season. Last year's Rookie of the Year runner-up out of Alabama, Mac Jones. I think we'll all remember 2021 as a banner quarterback draft. And we saw five taken in the first round. It was actually the fifth of those five, Mac Jones, who's the runner-up in the Rookie of the Year voting with the fifth most yards by a rookie in league history. The Patriots, they have to be dancing in the streets with the idea that this guy is going to be their quarterback for about the next 10 years. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Throwing Jones. And he goes down. The Ravens 
Hoffman's able to get to him. Michael Pierce in all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. But just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. And this came from the interior of the defensive line. And these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot. And they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. After the sack on first down, Jones, Hunter Henry brings it in. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. The well, first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Now, during that run, an injury here. we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Keep it on the ground, Harris again. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Five yards on first down, but now just a one yard pickup there on second. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Now Jones. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good pick up there, 22. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now Jones on first and 10. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson down to the 25. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, Jones. Complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. Well, this is gonna depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's gonna bring up a fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly, but no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. They're going for it. This is Harris. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball is moved through the air. 
they went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled him as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. Stevenson now on first and ten. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Harris running straight ahead. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. I haven't met a defensive coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Touchdown, Patriots! Jacoby Myers from six yards away. And the Pats are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel they would come back and try it on fourth down. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Put six on the board. From the 10. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. This defense tough to run against, and those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no game. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. I believe I can see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender and work to the defense's advantage on that play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going up top. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. The deep to return it is Marcus Jones. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Very 
very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 38. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's gonna be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Second and five now. Jones setting up a screen for Stevenson. And they're going to get this up to midfield. For a second there, I break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Got Stevenson again, back-to-back -back plays. And they're going to get this to about the 40 line. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these back-to-back back -to -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you hit deep when you catch him close to the spot. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. On second down, this is Harris. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It's found its lead running back, and it's Dane Harris. The Alabama man tied for second in the league with 15 rushing touchdowns. That was a game short of 1,000 yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw, Jones. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now a give, running left is Harris. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. the play fake. Jones looking for Aguilar and it's intercepted. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. So a big return there, Charles, on what was a pretty dangerous throw to the outside. It sure was, Brandon. That's the risk you run on a throw like this. If it's intercepted, a lot of times this is a pick six. So good hustle to get back and get him down. But boy, that's a throw you've really got to be sure of if you're going to work the perimeter of the field. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And they'll take over here following the interception with good field position and a chance to take the lead with a touchdown. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Jackson on the give to Dobbins to the 27-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. 
Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 27, Jackson slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag rail, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Now it's Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. And he will have a Ravens first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four and he got four on third down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 15. Jackson. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And the Ravens, a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Jackson going to run, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Ravens are once again back in front. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one, and in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit, because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate. You should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 10-7. That time, a six-play drive, and it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the six. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well in that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start the drive with Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. 
The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. Jones to throw on second down. Dancing to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Back to throw. Jones. He'll go underneath here to Stevenson. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. This is taken at the 18. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Ravens will take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. The offense running out, and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. From the gun, Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Jackson to Bateman there, first down Ravens. Injuries delayed Rashad Bateman's arrival into the Baltimore Ravens lineup in 2021, but he still put up 515 yards in 12 games as a rookie. The Ravens do believe a 1,000-yard season is more than possible from their first rounder in 2022. Here, he gets them a first down. Throwing now, Jackson on first down to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. But it certainly took too long to set up play action. That gave the pass rush time to get home for his first sack of the game. For their sake, they may start to think about the quick game and leave play action alone for a little while. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll set up to throw. 
Wide open receiver complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field. And that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. A give Dobbins trying the right side. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now Dobbins again on second down. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. The loss results there. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Jackson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And based on my math, they have only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Now, now is a punter, Jordan Stout. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 15. Throwing to start the drive, Jones. He'll get this to his tight end, it's Jonu Smith. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25 yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. I got a kick out of that one, Parker. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size you can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Here's Jones, throwing on first down, and his throw's gonna be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Jones. He'll get this underneath to Stevenson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They'll look to throw again. going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. And the fair 
catch is made at about the 27-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. From the 35 on second down, Jackson, a slant route caught by Bateman. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Throw right side, taken in by Wallace. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Jackson throwing once more. They set up the screen for Dobbins. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots D on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. And this one is incomplete. He already came for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And that will keep this a three-point game. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Throwing Jones. They set up the screen for Stevenson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Working with second and five now. 
Now Jones. Complete, puts it on the carpet. It's out. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. They go play action here on first down. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And unable to connect on the long pass. He actually brings it in, but he was out of bounds. Incomplete. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Looking to throw, Jones. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Back to throw again. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And now Nick Folk, his career long, 56 yards. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Ravens. And even though they've got a halftime lead they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game okay coach yeah adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. Takes it at the seven. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Pass midfield. Marcus Jones. And they finally stop him, but not before he 
He's inside the 15, a terrific return. With all the specialization we have in this great game, at some point, the head coach is going to take charge of every group. And I think at halftime, he spent a little time with the special teams coach said, look, you've got to find a way to get us a big play to help us get back into this. Well, the Patriots take it over to start quarter number three. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On the give, this is Harris. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. They run for it with Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris taking it in from seven yards away. And the Patriots have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. When you get down this deep, Charles, you hate to settle for a field goal. They roll the dice on fourth down, really just hoping to get that first. But as it turns out, they take it all the way into the end zone. You mentioned that they took a little bit of a gamble there. Think about it this way. Most teams throw the ball in this situation in the NFL, so they really gambled with a running play, and boy, did it pay off. Pay dirt. Extra point up and good by Folk, and the lead is now 14 to 10. So that drive, four plays, and it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. put six on the board this one taken just inside the 10 and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24 the Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half and Charles it feels like we're set up for a good second half here came out of the locker room one score game now the lead has already changed hands well this offense They've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. 
He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Jackson looking to throw on third. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now it'll be fourth and short. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to kick it away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Now they go screen. It's complete. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 50 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. going to be incomplete. The intended receiver there was Jonu Smith, but it'll be second down. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. And this is Parker, complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now flags come in. Look like one of the Patriots might have moved. Ball start. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Operating from the gun, Jones going deep here for Parker. And incomplete on the deep ball. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. 
And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag, punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. Good solid gain on first down, about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Second down at seven. Up the middle to Davis. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Jackson, draw play to Dobbins. And he will have the first down here as he's up to the 15. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Jackson on first down. He's able to find Wallace. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. On second down, here's the option. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Dobbins running out of the gun. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. But well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Here's Jackson to throw. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Now Dobbins again on second down. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. 
Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 29-yard line. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. It's taken a while for this offense to get going, a little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They run the option here on first and 10. And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. They get 10 more there and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A shotgun snap and a give to Dalvin. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. The last run got six, now second and four. Inside give to Davis. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Holding offense. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Here's Jackson. That is caught, Rashad Bateman. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Boy, this is a well-orchestrated drive they've put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out? but they've gone on a march since then. And now after that completion there, they've got a first and goal. They come to the line. They will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Jackson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, He's gone, and that's exactly what he did there. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. 
Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. So the Patriots coming out now. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing to start the drive, Jones. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Well, obviously the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play, but the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit too. Denied open windows. A race of quarterbacks targets one by one. Everywhere he looked, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring him down. It's showtime, baby. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Jones have thrown to Parker complete on the slam. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Jones now on first down. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. They gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. On the very outer edge of field goal range, it would be 56 yards if they got nothing here on third down. Back to throw, Jones. And he wisely will throw that one away. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will be from 56 yards out. And this kick is not going to get there. It's short and no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. So the folks on hand here growing a little rest kicking game. That's now two misses so far. And in a tight game, fourth quarter, the fans are the only ones getting restless, Brandon. There were a few looks of disbelief on that sideline as well. The Ravens ready to take over. And they caught a break with that missed field goal. Instead of being tied, they now sit in the fourth quarter driver's seat, still up three. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 46. They'll start with the option. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Now Jackson. 
And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. And this offense on third down today, they've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That is certainly one way to press go to quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit into football. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot him? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Open man is Myers. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. They'll try the right side with Harris. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 61 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. A good run there off right tackle in an old style football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They hand this off to Harris. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And caught by Henry. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Pass the 20. He's got the first and more than that. Touchdown. Hunter Henry. 41 yards. And the Patriots have taken a fourth quarter lead. For a big tight end, he can sure move like slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that.
Now Falk for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a New England touchdown. set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This one taken just inside the 10. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a tough ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run, the best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Jackson with a hand off to Dobbins on the option. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Throwing is Jackson. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And a gain down to about the 33. Two yards the gain on the keeper and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk with him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. But Jackson going to hold on to it again. Nifty move. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to go over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because they're worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. 
This is a second and four ball at the nine. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. But that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. To throw is Jackson. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just touched down the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays, and it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the six. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So now Jones and the Patriots down 24-21. A little under two and a half to go. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and ten. Throwing Jones. And that is incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Jones. Over the middle complete. That's Henry. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Jones and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over they had to go for it with such little time remaining and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape so the magic runs out so to speak they were three for three on fourth down conversions now three for four so the defense finally gets to exhale yeah because they were wondering three for three getting converted on fourth down that percentage is way high they hadn't stopped them at all. 
Finally, they get a stop. They can get to the sidelines now and rest. With such little time remaining, and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So the magic runs out, so to speak. They were three for three on fourth down conversions, now three for four. So the defense finally gets to exhale yeah. because they were wondering, three for three getting converted on fourth down, that percentage is way high. They didn't stop them at all. Finally, they get a stop. They can get to the sidelines now and rest. With such little time remaining, and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So the magic runs out, so to speak. They were three for three on fourth down conversions, now three for four. So the I give up the middle to Dobbins. And some room to roam now. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll take this one down near the 15. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this coming second down play. Jackson going to tuck it down on the option. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Again, Jackson will keep it. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Tucker now to add and after. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the six. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now the story changes. Trailing in this one now. At time, a huge factor. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Jones he gets this to Myers and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds and that's good for a pickup of 10 yards and they'll be left with a second and about a foot now Jones 
It's Myers again with another catch. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. Here's Jones. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw is Jones. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. His first read was covered, just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw is Jones. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. His first read was covered, just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw is Jones. 